welcome to my very first studio vlog. Um, I'm starting with the president of No Foundation because getting me to wear makeup every day is just not going to happen. So if you don't follow me on social media, my name is Amy. I run the business Autopia. Uh, its name came from my initials, AWW. And hopefully when you look at my products, it makes you go, oh, that's cute. I decided to start a studio vlog because I have been really inspired by other artists like Emily Harvey Art who have taken me on their business journey through their YouTube vlog and I want to do the same. Um, I'm at a point in my business now, I've been trading a year and I'm trying to progress it and build it a bit more. So at the moment I have enamel pins and t-shirts and mugs in my shop and I want to start making my own stickers, magnets, bookmarks, all featuring my designs. So in this video, you'll see me unpack my cry cut and I have got a printer on the way that's a really high resolution to make the, uh, the art prints and the pro products and stuff. Um, so when that comes, I will also do an unboxing video for that. So just really wanted to, to show other people how I'm growing my business, what I'm up to on the day to day. You can expect um, to see me designing products, packaging, um, you know, using the cry cut, learn, learning how to use different software, hints and tips on, on business things that I've learned in the year that I've had my business open. Um, yeah, so just come along on the journey with me and hopefully we can become art friends and uh, I might be able to inspire other people like I've been inspired. If anyone is curious, I used this contraption to film and yes, I did have to write down what I needed to talk about. I just realised I was going to show you in the introduction video the Happy Dragon enamel pin. He's my first enamel pin that I ever designed. I call him Derek. I think he's very cute. So that's where it all started. Okay, so with me moving my business into like its next phase now, I wanted to redesign the logo to give off more of that cute um, aesthetic. And I want to use pastel colours, I know that for definite, and still keep blue as my primary one because I love the colour blue. Um, I've chosen some colours, but I can't decide which shades I want. So somewhere in here is my brand colour palette. I mean, you can see I've got the pastel vibes going on, but which which shades do I pick? I don't know. My cry cut maker has arrived. I'm extremely excited. I've never had a cutting machine before, so let's unbox it. This is like, this is the crafting equivalent of Christmas. I'm so excited. A good job there's a handle on the top. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Okay, that's better. You can see me now on the box. This is my first studio vlog, so do excuse me while I learn the ropes. Oh, it's got the blade. Blade in there. Let me, let me bring it to you. It is heavy, I'm not going to lie. There it is. We'll lift that out. The famous cutting mat. I have watched so many crafters have a cry cut machine for years now and I finally have one. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Everyone watching me then, like, don't drop it. 
try and put my dad on edge whenever I'm cooking in the kitchen. There it is. I'll bring you in for a closer look. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Oh, wow. Amazing. Cannot wait to start creating stuff on here. Stickers, bookmarks, magnets. Possibilities are endless. Good morning. It is now Monday the 11th of April and I'm very excited because this beast has arrived. The Canon Pixar IP8750. A3's printing size. The first the first printer that's cost more than £50 in my life. We usually just, you know, get your bog standard. Um, I've never had a printer that can print such fancy things before. So, let's get it out. It is huge, which is, you know what, it's a good job that I got this big table. I was questioning whether to put a massive table in the bedroom, but between the cry cut and the printer, it's going to be needed. It turned up like this as well, just in this box. Usually they double box things, don't they? But we can it like this. Oh, a sample paper pack. I think I'm going to need help to get this out. Hold on. My dad just helped me get it out of the box. Um, but it is very cool. I am so excited about this. It's massive. It's really big. So I'll bring you over and we'll have a closer look. I think the print setting up is going to take a long time. So I'm going back to choosing my brand colours. I've narrowed it down. Just blues and greens left now. I've downloaded all of the cry cut software so I'm just going to run the test through and it's going to cut out like a little flower shape so let's go and watch that happen I am super excited um I've got to try and make stickers surely that's the first thing I've got to create so I'm going to open up the cry cut digital what's it called digital maker or something um yeah, let's make some stickers. I've got the perfect design, very spring, very cute. It's 10 o'clock at night, so it is a little bit dark, but they came out so good. The print quality is amazing. I'm really impressed. These mats get dirty really quickly because of how sticky they are. Anyway, I've got it to cut all the way through. I just haven't pulled the bits out of there. But some bunnies... I'm missing a bit of a boot and some bunnies are missing a bit of a tail so the calibration isn't right. Right here is a recalibrated moment of truth. Oh it's doing it! Oh my goodness. 
I need two hands. Hold on. I did it. They did it. They got the little light lights. They did it. They've got the little light lines. Buzzing. So I finished my new logo design. I went through the different colours and chose the pastel colours I liked the most. These will be my primary colours that I'll use for all branding. And then they're the secondary colours that I can use in social media and stuff. And then I've lined them up from their gradients of uh, darker to paler. I did go full on pastel at first, but it didn't feel right. I went back to my original blue. I really like the new logo. Um, I think it's quite soft and cute and feels right. Uh, so now anytime I do any social media or um, posts like that sort of thing, I can use my primary colours and secondary colours and I've got all the shades ready. And now that everything's arrived, here's a quick little tour. I've got your drawers underneath here that contain all of the enamel pins. There's the printer, there's the Cricut and there's my desk. I need to add my pins to there. Got my calendar. Well, there you go, there's my workspace. So I did want to sign off this video with my face, but unfortunately I've caught COVID this week and I'm feeling pretty rotten. So while I speak, here is Archie chilling on the workstation. Um, thank you so much for watching my very first studio vlog. Um, I'm hoping to aim for weekly. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow my business journey. Uh, and yes, just thanks for watching. Have a lovely week. Thank you.